In this video, I'm going to show you three tools in DaVinci Resolve that every editor should be taking advantage of. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about power bins. Now, we all know what bins are, right? Those are the folders in the media pool in DaVinci Resolve where we keep our video and audio files. Now, power bins are essentially the same thing, but with one very powerful twist. You see what I did there? Power bins, powerful twist. Let's move on. Power bins are bins that allow you to save media so it's always available in every project that you're working on. Well, almost every project. We'll get to that in a minute. To activate Power Bin, simply go click on the three dots in the top right of your media pool and click on Show Power Bins. From there, you can create other bins just like you would in your normal bin section. Then drag any media you might want to reuse across multiple projects into one of your Power Bins. And when you go to open up a new project, that media will be available for you to use. It's a real time saver. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that Power Bins are project libraries library specific, meaning that the media you put in them will only be available in the projects on that project library. So, you know, don't freak out if you start a new library and can't find your power bins media. Next, let's take a look at the effects disabler. Honestly, I don't think that's the technical name for it, but it's what I call it. So. Yeah, here's the scenario. Let's say that you're almost done with a video. You've done your color grading, maybe some motion graphics or some animated text, and you head back to the edit page to do a couple of final tweaks to the timeline. And now all of a sudden you're getting laggy playback when it was playing back smoothly before. What do you do? Well, in this case, that laggy playback is likely caused by all of that color grading and all those effects that you added to your video. And in order to get smooth playback so you can make those adjustments, you need to turn all of that stuff off. Luckily, you can do that easily by heading up to the little rainbow colored icon at the top of your playback monitor and clicking on it, which will disable all of the color and fusion effects that you've added to your video. Then when you're done making your adjustments, click the icon again and all of your color grading and effects are back. Oh, a little pro tip. If you right click on that icon, you can choose whether you want to disable only color grading, only fusion effects, or both. Okay, let's talk about layout presets. This is quite honestly, one of my favorite workflow hacks in DaVinci Resolve. Let's say you're done with the video assembly and you're ready to do some sound design while still on the edit page. The only problem is the edit page, the default layout isn't really made for focusing on audio. To get it there, we can go to a single preview window, resize it so we have more room for the timeline and expand the inspector and open up our mixer. Now we're ready to work on our audio a bit. But how do we get back to our audio layout in the future? It's pretty simple, really. Just head up to Workspace, Layout Presets, and click Save Layout as Preset. Then give your preset a name and you're good to go. Now, these are just three of the tools in DaVinci Resolve that will help you edit faster and improve your workflow. If you want to see another one, click here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.